hope you guys are having a great Saturday. And um, we are here, I'm here at eWomen Conference with a bunch of awesome people who give their hearts and a little bit of cash to help children grow out of extreme poverty and into successful, productive lives. They're changing children's lives, the lives of their families, and the lives of their community through Compassion International. So I'm going to ask a couple people about the kids that they sponsor. Lily, say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wait, let me flip it around. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so tell me about your sponsorship. When did you start being a sponsor? Um, about two years ago. Really? The same kid the whole time? Yes. Because you're gonna follow it through till the kid's out of school, right? So what's your compassion child's name? Her name is Carol. Carol? And where does she live? She lives in Peru. In, oh, I want to go there someday. So is she your same age? Yeah, she's 10 years old. Yeah? And what do you guys talk about? Well, we usually talk about like our animals because she cares for her animals and I have a bunch of animals. So we usually like talk about our animals. And then she'll thank us for like birthday gifts that we sent her. And then she'll like update us on how school's going and stuff like that. Nice. You know what I found with my passion child uh, too is that if I go to somebody's birthday party here, or Christmas party here and I buy somebody a gift. I never know if they're actually going to like it or if they have 10 of them already. But when I buy a Christmas gift or a birthday gift for the compassion children, they always appreciate it because it always helps them. What does she do when, when you send her a birthday gift? What kinds of things does she like to get for herself? Um, she likes to get shoes. Um, shoes and we usually send her some clothes. Yeah. Everybody likes clothes, right? Yeah, everybody likes clothes. <laughs> Wait, you found a girl somewhere else in the world who also likes clothes? <gasps> cool. Does she have brothers and sisters? Um, yes. Yes, she has one brother. Yeah. One brother? Is he in the program too, do you know? Um, I don't know for sure. I bet he's blessed because she's taken care of so the family has more resources, huh? Yes, definitely. Yeah. She's expressed that to us. This is the wonderful mama that helps her daughter with this compassion project. Awesome. So why do you think other people should support compassion? Well, I mean, there's like tons of kids out there that like, they're just like, and like families can't like support their children and they can't feed their children. And it's just, it's really sad that children don't have homes and some go hungry. And so I, I just encourage everybody, they should help out because it's just, it's amazing feeling once you donate um, and you send your letter, I can't talk, your, <laughs> You're doing great. your letters, uh -huh. and it just feels so good and it just makes your heart like pump out of your chest. And then, That's exactly how I would describe that. Yes. It brings us a lot of joy to know that we're helping other children that are less fortunate. I bet. It brings joy to our family. I think it's neat yes. that you guys do this together. We that love it. I, what was your name? My name's Lisa. Lisa, thank you so much for being with us today. And we hope to be able to visit Carol one day in Peru. That's our hope and our dreams. Isn't as, that cool? The as the girls that grow up together, when they're older, hopefully they will be able to meet. Hi. Do you speak Spanish? Um, we do not. No. <laughs> Are you going to learn Spanish? We have to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to be able to talk to your friend. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> awesome. So you have a passion child too. Oh, there's the letter. He's right here. He is so cute. Oh, I love his drawings. Look how technical these drawings are. How old is he? He's seven. He's seven. What's his name? Novatas. Novatas. And he's, he's in, in Tanzania. Tanzania. Yes. Uh, it was about a year ago at a Rock and Worship Roadshow. I was here with my kids, and we were doing the chainsaw with FF5, and we were loving the concert. And they were doing their presentation about Compassion International, and I just felt that tugging on my heart. And, of course, the kids started tugging on me, too. And they're like, oh, no, I, I know. I feel it. I feel it. And they had them out in the audience. They had left them on the chairs. And we had one right there. And I was like, well, do we want this one, or do you want to go look for a certain name or birthday or boy or girl? And like, nope, this is it. 
And so Novatus is what we got. He was six. And so at first his drawings were not so technical. I'm sure. <laughs> They've gotten a lot better. Yeah. And uh, his dream is to become a pilot. He's going to become a pilot. I yes. think that's going to be a very important thing out there. And as far as I know, he's an only child, and his parents are seasonal farm workers. Seasonal farm workers. So going from seasonal farm worker family yes. to being a pilot can only be done through someone helping him get a job. Oh, totally. totally. There's only no done. way that his parents would be able to help him with schooling and the, the things that he needs to yeah. further his, his education and his dreams. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. But as a pilot in the middle of the jungle, you have, well, I don't know that it's all jungle, but out there there's a lot of places that have lousy roads. Yes. And if you can actually operate a plane, you can get people from one spot to another a lot better. So he can make a good living that way. Yes. How yes. long have you been sponsoring him? Just over a year. Just over a year. Oh, I'm so glad that you do that. How does the rest of your family feel about him? They all love it. And he's, he's, his picture's on our fridge. He's our refrigerator kid. <laughs> hey, you don't so, want to to pray for to him, to think about him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. And then every time we get a letter from him, we put it underneath his picture on the fridge. That's cool. So everybody can see it. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. So what would you tell people about why they ought to sponsor Compassion? How has it affected your heart, your life? It's just great to think about others, to not be selfish, because it's all too easy for us to get caught up in ourselves and our own wants and desires. Uh, we were not sure that we would be able to do this financially. Um, I am a resourceful person. I have a school job, so you know I don't get paid much. And my husband has disabilities, so I sell things on eBay. I click on different websites on the internet to get gift cards to put gas in the car. There's, there's a lot of things that I do to help make ends meet and to allow us to continue to sponsor them. So you actually are able to find resources that maybe you didn't always know were there. Yes. And you're taking care of this kid. I know, you know, we always want something else, right? Yes. And then every six months you have to kind of go through all your closets and give the Goodwill run, right? At least in my house we do. And I'm so I I'm technically a part time employee there. Oh, then I haven't worked there since July. They haven't had much uh, hours available. But I am actually a Goodwill employee and I do give to Goodwill. I also give to the Bixby Outreach Center because there was a time that I needed to receive from them, and so I like to give back when I can. Yeah, and so you know that we do, we have a lot of extra that we don't realize we have. Yes. It's worth yes. supporting someone through school for. Oh, yes. thank you so much. And what was your name? Joanne. Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey, you guys. So I hope that you've enjoyed that. And I just want to encourage you that if you haven't sponsored a kid yet and you keep thinking, oh, someday that'd be nice or, oh, you know, I don't know if it's for real. It's for real. I've met people who've actually gone to the compassion centers and met their children and met lots of people actually who've done that all over the world and Charity Navigator talks about how compassion spends their money and their transparency of accounting and their transparency of leadership so I don't broadcast things that I don't trust but I absolutely believe in effective ministry so pray there is nowhere ever that God is going to say, oh, no, I think that you should just buy that other latte instead of supporting this child.